Welcome to Legacy Week, a week where we will be revisiting six of Yu-Gi-Oh's oldest and most iconic sets. Each day, I will open a 24-pack booster box made up of 25th anniversary packs, starting with Invasion of Chaos and continuing in reverse chronological order. Each day, we will total the number of foils pulled and the total value. Which set has what it takes to earn the title of Legacy Week Champion? Let's find out together. What's up guys, we're back with another episode of Legacy Week, our second opening so far. Last time we did Invasion of Chaos and it was pretty iffy, it wasn't that awesome. So I'm hoping that today's Dark Crisis opening will be even better. And of course, just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, you can win every card that we pull in this video. Make sure to let me know which set you think will win Legacy Week. All right, so we have inside of our 36 pack booster box, only 24 packs. So let's see, I'm gonna open this up. This has once been opened before by me, where we pulled a first edition Exodia Necros that then graded a PSA 10, which was pretty cool. So inside, we have our 24 packs for Legacy Week. If you guys Guys have been excited about it if you've enjoyed it let me know down below because i haven't seen any feedback yet because i'm recording these all at the same time surprise surprise dark crisis here we go let's start off with one pack dark crisis what i am looking for out of this set is exodia necros as we've pulled out of this box before we would also like to pull a secret rare i would love vampire lord and stuff like uh the skull arch fiend of, of lightning would be really good not lightning mustering of the dark scorpions we also can pull skill drain as a rare in here sukiyomi as a rare both really good dark bishop march vein not so good and a iron blacksmith kotetsu so yesterday we pulled five foils out of 24 packs we're hoping to beat that and to actually pull some awesome cards as well okay legacy week episode two i this is fun man i just love opening these old sets even though they just got reprinted you know it's like i've been opening them a lot just doesn't get doesn't get old man little wing guard we have zolga this is probably the least interesting of the six sets we're opening but it's still a really fun set that i've always found a little underrated we have mephist and an ojama trio i remember opening this 36 pack box that we have our packs in right now that was one of the most fun openings we've ever had and uh we pulled some really really good cards so i remember that very fondly dark crisis good times final attack orders we have shinado's arc another great one shinado king of a higher plane one of the most nostalgic cards for me if you've seen my sixth grade deck video go check it out uh yeah it was a good time it was really funny and don't forget sassiato's link down below he will be taking pre-orders let's see if we can get a pull here Ooh, a Dark Flare Knight. Mention Sassiato, you pull foils. That's just how it works, guys. Go check out Sassiato's link down below. You can pre-order any of the Legacy Booster Boxes. I actually don't think they're coming out with a Dark Crisis based on what I've heard. So the other five will be the ones you could pre-order. I'm sure not too many people are broken up about that. I know some people are upset there's no Dark Crisis, but this is the best you're going to get is what we're opening right now. 24 loose packs. So yeah, go check that out. Use my code down below, which hasn't been determined yet, but it will be available down there for 5% off. You guys can pre-order your Booster Boxes. They come out in july so it's a couple months away but it's gonna be fun when it happens shooting starbow you know I mean, you guys know i'm gonna be opening some wow twin long rods that's not the right card mephist and uh blast held by a tribute ultra rare all right we didn't pull an ultra till the very end of the last video so this is a lot better better start okay we've already got an ultra and a super rare is dark crisis gonna be our best opening that would be pretty crazy i bet a lot of you guys did not pick dark crisis i'm gonna i'm just gonna guess that outstanding dog marin a classic card little wind god rod of silence chaosed zolga Rod of the Mind's Eye. We have Twin Swords of Flashing Light. Guardian Chaist. Great Maju Garzette. And a contract with Exodia. All right, only a few packs in. It's been a good start for the Dark Crisis Legacy Week Episode 2. One, two, three. And don't forget to check out the 2020 Legacy Week. When we did this back in 2020, we had we didn't do Dark Crisis. So this is a unique episode that we've never done before. Mustering of Dark Scorpions. Kelbeck, DD Trainer. We have Infernal Queen Archfiend and Guardian Grarl. Another Guardian Bull. Ultra rare. This is our second of the box already. Dark Crisis is coming in hot. This is a really great start. I do really love the Guardian Grarl. I actually did pull the Guardian Grarl out of this first edition box. So maybe that's showing us that we're going to pull the same packs or the same uh, foils, I should say. That would be pretty awesome if we got the Exodia Necros. We did get the skill, uh, no, uh, Judgment of Anubis. Let's say Skill Drain. Judgment of Anubis. Skill Drain probably should have been the Secret Rare, but we got the Judgment of Anubis last time out of this box, so hopefully we can get the Vampire Lord instead. Thousand Eels. We have the really Eternal Rest, not the Darth Maul card, the really Darth Maul. Sukiyomi, great pull, and final attack orders okay no more attacking because this is the final attack okay we're like not even close to like we're not even like halfway we're probably a quarter of the way through one two three we've pulled some really good stuff shinano's arc no skill drain yet but we'd love to pull that keldo you guys heard of that one 
Ojama, we're out of the mind's eye. We have a ray of hope. Pandemonium Watch Bear. He is very watchable. Yeah, I think I have a chaist. Never to mention gate. And non spell casting area. I got a little orb around him. Pretty anime like. I like it. Okay, Dark Crisis. Let's continue to pull some awesome stuff for you guys because I know there's going to be six winners. And I want to mention again, I'm going to mention this in every video. I am not responding to you in the comments about giveaways. I'm only announcing it on the YouTube community tab. Go check it out right here. Uh, yeah, there's no. Nothing going on with me replying and telling you you want to check me out on Telegram. Not true. That is not me. It's a, it's a scammer. Archfiend Soldier and a Dark Scorpion Manet the Thorn. I will never ask you guys to pay for shipping uh, for a giveaway because it's a giveaway, so it should be free. I will never respond to you in the comments about giveaways, like saying, hey, you want a giveaway? Message me on something. It's only going to be on the YouTube community tab, and I'm going to tell you there to email me. That's it. I've been getting more and more of those, so I've been trying to post it in every video, talk about it as much as I can to remind you guys. Okay, Outstanding Dog Marin. We have Ojama Green, Frozen Soul, Staunch Defender, Ray of Hope. We have the Pandemonium. Really eternal rest. It's very eternal. Legendary Flame Lord. I always think this is something good because it's a ritual. And uh, Ojama Trio returns. I believe this is the first set with Ojama cards at all. So I think it's the debut of Ojama. So pretty cool to see those because they do be pretty big in like uh, Legendary Collection. I was going to say Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. Guardian Elmo, we have uh, Dark Scorpion. I always just go for Legendary Collection GX. I don't know. Rod of Silence Chaos, we have Falling Down. Better watch out. Don't fall down. We got the Seal. We got the Loyal Goblin. We have Shadow Knight Archfiend. Infernal Queen Archfiend. And will we get an Archfiend foil? No, but we'll get a Dark Scorpion Chick the Yellow. I think this is a band or limited or something at one point. Pretty weird. All right, we started off hot. This is our last pack of the first half, so we're really at three foils. So we're kind of on pace again. We slowed down a little bit of a cold streak. Let's see if we can turn that around right here. We have an Acrobat Monkey. The monkey is an Acrobat. Is that Tristan? Joey? I don't know. Little Wingard. We have Cessus of Dogla. Probably going to get somewhere between six to seven foils on average for a booster box. This is not sealed, obviously, so could be anything. That's what's so exciting about this opening. Blind and Loyal Goblin. We have Pandemonium Watch Bear. Guardian Trice. And a Precious Cards from beyond. There's some weird print things where it's just like silvering across the card. I've seen that on a lot of these Legendary Collection 25th cards. It's pretty weird. Okay, so we're officially like kind of normal ratio again. Uh, we've got two Ultras, one, only one Super, so not a lot going on there. One Tsukiyomi, no Skill Drain. We're looking for more than that. One, two, three. Come on. Contract with Exodia. Come on, give us that Exodia card. We have Ojama Green. Oh, that's a Ruxin special. Goblin of Greed. Already multiple Goblin cards in Legacy Week. Falling down. Or try greed cards as well. We have uh, Twin Swords. Oh, a Skill Drain. I think this might have a foil behind it it does a vampire lord secret rare you love to see it and the final attack orders makes another appearance secret rare vampire lord skill drain rare i always want this to be the perfect dark crisis pack because the skill drain and other things and uh yeah it just was that time all right legacy week is taking a good turn right here we have now a secret rare two ultras one super so we're on pace for a great box it's been really good so far we've got nintendogs from nintendo ds Ojama Green, Incandescent Ordeal, Valpon Archfiend, Archfiend's Oath, Maju Garzette, the Garzette of Maju. Really eternal rest. Seen that guy many times there. Oh, the Majette of Garzu, except he's great this time. And uh, precious cards from beyond. Where beyond? I don't know. Okay, Legacy Week, you've been good to us, but let's let's just be great to us. How about that? Come on, and we're celebrating 200 k this week. 200k make sure to subscribe guys because we're doing a lot of amazing things for 200k if you didn't see the announcements yesterday go watch yesterday's video talking about all the awesome stuff we're going to do and there still is a mystery opening i haven't announced that's going to be really exciting for you guys for the spring we have infernal queen archfiend and uh, a different dimension dragon there was a foil back there sometimes there's two cards like there's the foil and then another card and sometimes it ends on the foil and that's the ones you never expect are the ones that end on a foil yeah, and that's whenever I feel there's two cards left after the rare. That's when I'm like, okay, I think we got a foil here. If there's one left, I have no idea. One, two, three. 200K celebration. Hope you guys have enjoyed like this idea of doing multiple videos for 200K. I think it's a pretty good idea. Just, oh, good job, Roxon. Pretty good. Dice free roll. We have Shadow Knight Archfiend. I think you guys will enjoy it at least. This is one. I feel like there's two cards after this. I think there could be a foil here. We have the Lunatite and another Dark Flare Knight. Okay, so we've got, what is it? Is that three Dark Flare Knight? No, two Dark Flare Knight. So we are up to a secret two ultras and three supers. We're looking good so far, plus a skill drain Tsukiyomi. That's good as well. All right, still a lot of packs left. This has been a really good one. The foil count has already exceeded Invasion of Chaos. Plus we've pretty, I think, pulled better cards. Acrobat Monkey, we might have better value. We have Sasuke Samurai, we have Cyber Raider. Dice Reroll, Zolga, we have Desrook, the Archfiend. 
Battle Footballer. Getting ready for football season. We have the Lunatite again. And Nintendogs. Very nice to see that game again. A lot of packs remain. It's been a good Dark Crisis opening. Can it be great? It's already close to great. All it would take is like an Exodia Necros. We have Ojama Trio. Spell Reproduction. Keldo. Where's a Gito? Rod of the Mind's Eye, we have Mustering the Dark Scorpions. Drag Down to the Grave. I remember using this in Dark Worlds and Duel Links. Infernal Queen, Archfiend, and Mudora. Super rare and a final counter. That's actually a good common as well. So uh, that's our seventh foil. So we're officially at real ratio for a really good booster box. Okay, Dark Crisis, you're not letting us down for Legacy Week. Let's see if you can uh, let us up again because uh, seven foils, if we get eight, I mean, that's insane, especially if we get like another Ultra. Acrobat Monkey, we have Rod of Silence Chaos, and these are random packs. That's why this is so fun. You can go over the ratio. Arsenal Summoner or under like you saw last time. Shooting Star Bow Seal. We got Trice. We got Pandemonium Watch Bear. Fear from the Dark. And a Nintendogs at it again. Good to see you guys. And another pack upcoming. Or we can get both Secret Rares. That'd be cool as well. I'd be down for that. We have the Ojama. Trio. Ojama Green. Goblin Agreed. Token Thanksgiving. Zolga. Pandemonium Watch Bear. Fear from the Dark. And butterfly dagger elma formerly banned card thanks to gear free the iron wait it still is banned i think gear free the iron knight plus a final countdown wow we're getting some really good cards right now an eighth foil a banned card you love to see it that's always cool i think four packs left so we've already pulled eight foils we still got four packs left it's been pretty good for dark crisis i think the value is going to be fairly decent i mean they're not going to make our money back most of the time on these legacy packs a lot of the packs even the foils aren't worth that much Iron Blacksmith Kotetsu, that's actually a pretty good card. Sasuke Samurai, Cyber Raider, got Rod of the Mind's Eye, Mustard of the Dark Scorpions, Fairy of the Spring, Gravity Axe, Growl. We've already pulled the Growl, so good to see you. Contract with the Abyss, and we have Archfiend's Roar. The Archfiends, they do be roaring. Three packs left, Dark Crisis, 200k, Special Legacy Week. Pretty amazing. We have Acrobat Monkey. We got Rod of Silence, Kaist. Kelda, where's a Guido? Is it a Guido in here? Where is it? Token Thanksgiving. I want to do the MVP or the MVP, the MBT. Loyal Goblin. We got Suki Yomi. That's awesome. A second copy of that. And ah, oh, Nintendo Dogs. Wow, they really want me to play some Nintendo DS. So we pulled three awesome rares so far. That's pretty good. Dark Crisis. Two more packs. It's been a really good box. I'm not gonna lie. One, two, three. Let's get something good. We have not spell casting area. We have Ojama Green. Incandescent Ordeal. Dice Reroll. Zolga. Fairy of the Spring. Infernal Queen Archfiend. Will we get another foil here? A Shinado King of a Higher Plane. Let's go. One of my favorite ultra rares in the set. Do you guys remember I have the bent one from back when I was a kid? Someone traded to me. I didn't even care that it was bent in half. Awesome, awesome card. I also have a PSA 10 of this, which is... uh. One of my favorite PSA 10s because I love the artwork on that card and the childhood memories are awesome. Nine foil box. I think that it's safe to say we beat Invasion of Chaos here, I would assume. Dark Christ, last pack. We got one more chance. I really can't speak today. I don't know what's going on, but yeah, get used to it because Legacy Week's all recorded in one day. So, <laughs> Rose and Soul, we have Little Windguard, Morale Boost, a Vile Part Archfiend. We have Dragged Down to the Grave, Maju Garzette. Different Dimension Gate, and our final card, Dark Scorpion, Chick the Yellow. If you've enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Legacy Week has four more episodes upcoming and many more 200K special openings. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxer, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Dizzy, Mycycle, America Deutscher, Supreme Sage 21, and then a tie show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Mimic Gecko, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.